What is stem cell therapy? Hi, I'm Jeff Christensen. I'm the surgeon at Island Animal Hospital. Um, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about stem cell therapy in dogs and cats. Um, stem cell therapy is something that uh, isn't commonly done in people right now. Um, there's still some you know, uh, testing and other issues, but in veterinary medicine, all the testing's been done for well over a decade. And uh, we've been doing stem cell therapy for 12 to 15 years in dogs and cats. Uh, and horses. So uh, the stem cells are your progenitor cells, they're your, your baseline cells that can differentiate into bone, cartilage, nerve, whatever you need. Uh, we use it to help, it's, it's part of a process called regenerative medicine and we use it to help with arthritis, we use it to help with kidney disease, uh, inflammatory bowel disease and other immune mediated disorders. So we take, we take a small sample of fat from, a, from the pet, we harvest it surgically, we ship it to vet stem labs in California and they give us back the doses we need. And once you harvest the stem cells, you have enough to last for the pet's whole life. You never have to surgically harvest it again. You treat, treat the pet when you want to and then they're banked and you can get more doses when you need them. Additionally, uh, if you don't aren't ready for primary stem cell therapy and you've got a young dog or puppy perhaps uh, during a routine spay or neuter you can harvest and bank some just for the the stem insure process which are then banked for when you need them and the nice thing is that uh, the stem cells maintain their youthful vigor um, even when the pet's old so once this guy gets to be 10 if he had stem cells harvested when he was six months old he would get the stem cells from a young healthy dog. So I'd like to talk to you about Lars, one of our, uh, one of our stem cell recipients. So this is our good friend Lars. When he was 11 years old, he started having some hind leg weakness, scuffing his toes, stumbling around and having a hard time getting up. He was treated with stem cell therapy and has done very well. All of his problems have resolved and he's 15 and a half now, still going strong and better than he was when he was 11. Another great example of stem cells in action would be uh, the case of, of Abby. Abby is a Rottweiler who had uh, both, both knees had blown out and had had surgery for the knees that did very well, but she also had severe arthritis in her hips and in her elbows, and she was painful in those areas and was basically a couch potato. So the owners went ahead and did stem cell therapy for Abby and I talked to the owner about eight weeks after, after the stem cell therapy and he said that he was very upset with me because now he had to close the front door because Abby would jump off the couch and run out the door and chase squirrels now. So if you wanna talk more about stem cell therapy and how they can benefit your pet, please feel free to schedule an appointment to see me at Island Animal Hospital in Merritt Island.